It's fine. Wait, what? Let's get another. Got a lot of value out of that game. A lot of, a lot of learning. Alrighty, Klefki. Yo, I haven't seen Klefki in a very long time. Oh gosh. Landris is here for like everything. But really, Landris is here for Reggie Lecky. Because Reggie Lecky will wreck my whole team if I don't have Landris. Is that true? I think it actually does, like, I think it actually does stop Blissey. Or, let's see, Blissey into, yep, yep, good, good point. Magnezone is here for Corviknight. Reggie, Alecki, let's assume it's like this set. Let's say they've got Electric Terrain. And, wait, what? Why would they not have Expanding Force? Time out. Why does expanding force? Oh, stupid. What's it? Uh, what's the ter electric move? Rising voltage. Oh yeah, rising voltage will wreck my uh my blissey. They are going to. Oh, you know what? I bet that Klefki tries to trick onto my lander as a ring target. I'll bet that's it. So, ooh, actually, Magnazone can deal with Klefki as well, and it can set up. Okay, that's good. Landris is here for Regieleki, which means Tapu Fini is here for Victini, which is going to be painful with Bolt Strike. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I really need that. This is a tough team. This is a tough team. What am I most scared of? What am I most... Because Melmetal takes value pretty powerfully. Melmetal into what is probably a... Uh, like an offensive pivot Coco. Melmetal takes a hit and double iron back. I mean, we need that Coco gone. Landers is here for Reggie Alecki, so we don't want to risk... Oh, wow. Landers is also here for Tapu Coco. Oh, no. Blissey. Blissey's here for Coco. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. I'm most scared of Coco. I really want to go Melmetal, I think, because no matter what, this, this is going to be a tough one. This, well, this is going to be a very tough one. There's Klefki. So... Hmm, do I just go Magnazone and deal with it? Because I think it's ring target prankster. Let's see, Klefki, because that's, I mean, let's be honest, like, that's why you're here. You're not doing anything. You don't have a way to get out. Of course, I could just Earthquake. And, like, in all scenarios, like, if I take out Klefki, that's, ah, uh, but I don't want to get parried. Do I care? I might care. Let's think. Let's think. What gives me the most value? If I go Magnazone, I don't get Parod. What would he swap if he was trying to keep this thing alive that deals with me? Probably Corviknight. At which point I go, oh wait, in all circumstances then Magnazone is good. Yes! Good analysis. So, Thunderbolt looks kind of free. Mm. I guess Garchomp, but I have Tapu Fini for that. And they might not have U-Turn. Woo! That did some damage. They got U-Turn, but your Corviknight ain't doing much else. They got U-Turn, but that, that was very big value. Still, though, this is going to be such a hard matchup for me. That Coco is such a problem. They do go Victini here. So... Gosh, that thing. This is gonna be this is gonna be difficile. Tapu Fini is my answer for this and that. Okay, I'm glad they do that. Um I think we scald in all cases. Wait, if I start boost. No, Reggie like he'll beat me even through boost. I think we just free scald. Good. We want to take value on Tapu Coco. Oh yes! Yes! That's, that's going to give me some extra chip, which is really, really valuable. And I have Blissey for Tapu Coco. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so good. Well, I have Landris for you. And I don't think you can do anything about that. Yep. Now, I think we get, like, the freest of Earthquakes. No. Uh, actually, Stealth Rocks might be more value. Because he's probably just going to go Corviknight 
Although he might be scared now. I think Stealth Rocks gives a lot of value, though, because that's going to help me deal with that Victini, which is a serious problem. He does go Corviknight. That's fine. Now, you either Defog and lose it, or you Hard Swap and take Rocks. So Magnezone works in all cases, and he Hard Swaps. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to start dealing with this Reggie Lecky. Kind of weird. I mean, I don't think you have anything for Landorus. I don't think there's any move on Reggie Lucky that can really deal, except like Explosion, but then I don't need Landorus. Beautiful! I think this is a free U-turn. No? Yeah, I think it's just a free U-turn. Okay, so you're not Booze, which I... Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet. Okay, that tells me what kind of set you are. Garchomp... Probably what, OU tank? Yep. I'm trying to find out, does my Dragapult one-shot? Does Dragapult, what kind of a question is that, Jack? Does Shadow Ball do it? No, we have to Draco. And if he goes Tapu Koko, that's just free burn damage. If he goes this dude, I just go Magnezone again. <laughs> I did take a lot of damage. I don't want to U-turn off Garchomp again. Landris needs to stay healthy for uh, downpour. Man's trying to trying to trick a ring target on my Landris. I know what you're doing, bro. I've fallen for that before. <laughs> He's trying to decide what what wants to eat this Draco. Okay, he does go Klefki. It's fine. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I thought Fairy was immune to Dragon. What? Am I just like crazy? Why did I think that? I like really thought, oh, and this thing's dead now. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, I think we'll just sub. Oh, he spikes. Nah, it's kind of a pain, but it's fine. Actually, wait, why don't... Oh, he's got play rough. Why don't I just set up and then body press this thing? Eh, I don't think that. No, I don't think there's any scenario. Yeah, let's just take it out. Thankfully, he did kind of choke by clicking play rough. So he's only got two spikes, but those spikes are a pain for sure. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't want to body press. Uh, yeah, I do. That's free damage. And. Rocky Helmet isn't set up. So, and Magnezone's only other job is Corviknight, so that's just free damage on this thing. Yep. And I have a Tapu Fini for you, who, now, I'll, I'm will i not going to lie, those spikes are real pain. All right, we're draining Kissing. Yeah, oh, he's just going to give it to me. Uh, kind of. <laughs> draining Kiss is good in all scenarios. Wow, he's got a lot of hat. This boy has rest. <laughs> Oh, but Misty Terrain stopped it. <laughs> Rest wouldn't have been the play. I would have boosted on him. Oh, gosh. He's got a lot of hazards. I won't lie. I, I don't love that. But Blissey can still still do just fine here. Seismic Toss? No? I think Seismic Toss is good in all cases. And we're healthy enough. And if we can get rid of Coco, oh, beautiful. It's free damage on Regieleki. And I think you're getting too low. Oh, he's Boots. Oh, wait, but Tapu Fini was also for Victini. Can Tapu Fini, ah. Melmetal does not want to take this Victini, uh. It's heavy duty boots. Oh gosh, yeah, still doesn't want to take it. Uh it's minus one. It's minus uh nope, not with hazard. Not with hazards though. Ah, this is wait, doesn't Dragapult live everything? Yes. And then I can shadow ball. Super freely. What? <laughs> okay, I've never seen that before. That's unique but I outspeed 
Nope, not anymore, I don't. That's a real pain. Okay. I mean, that's what Feeny's here for, but I don't think Feeny takes it anymore. Now Dragapult comes in. That's a real pain. I don't think I really have a great way of dealing with that anymore. Ah, uh, that's not true. Because I'm going to get a kill here. And now that I know you're not Scarf, yep, that's your only answer. And so now, it's a free Landorus. Uh, if he goes hard, Victini, that's a problem. Yeah, so we just Shadow Ball. Because if he kills Dragapult, kills Dragapult. Oh no! No! Oh, that's wonderful. He just freed up my 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 landers for his Victini. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> he exploded. No. I mean, he did identify that Landers was a serious problem. But my Landers was low enough that that Victini was going to be scary and I didn't I couldn't afford to take an explosion and then have it come in. Hey, dude. Not a problem. Enjoy enjoy the grind, and I'm glad I can give some entertainment while you're doing it. That's kind of hype that you got a, a shiny Pokemon. Com all my shiny Pokemon competitive. That's like, that's pretty hyped you got multiple. <coughs> Excuse me. Down the, down the wrong pipe. How long is this stream? Okay, perfect. Okay, now what's interesting... Well, I did outspeed, so I could just Shadow Ball and kill... Because we knew it wasn't Scarf. We knew it was Boots. You couldn't come in on that. Landorus could take Victini. Because we could sack and then Victini at minus one. Can't deal with the fact that I can just Earthquake it. Uh, I guess he could have swapped like Sack Coco. 56.5 up to... Okay, so he would have had a pretty good chance of killing Landorus. But I had a... Mm, I don't know that he needed to forfeit that. All he had to do... No. Yeah, he did because... He had no option. Like, I was just going to kill this. Victini comes in and then I kill that. Yep. Have my o original trainer and TID... I don't remember what those acronyms mean. It sounds cool, but I don't remember what they mean. Okay, sweet. Uh, we let me use the bathroom real quick, and then uh, then we'll do some analysis. All right, so let's see what we learned and what we did well. And yeah, so I led Melmetal because I was so scared of that Tapu Koko, and I wanted to just straight destroy it. Oh shoot, I forgot to hit pause. They went uh, Klefki, and I identified that Magnazone was no drawback, because either I trapped Klefki and prevented Landers from ever getting ring target, or I realized like the most likely thing they go, because they expect Earthquake, is Corviknight, in which case Magnazone just comes in and takes a ton of value. OT's original trainer and TID's trainer ID. Ah, perfect, perfect. That's sweet. That's super cool. That's like, I, I like, when someone puts a lot of effort into making a team like that, where it's like, okay, these are all my shinies. I've created them. Like, I think that's super cool. Yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's impressive when you have an entire team of, like, your own shinies. So, much respect. So, Magnazone made a ton of sense because it was just good value no matter what they did. And in basically every case, I was fine. You know, I had something for all mons they could switch to. So, no matter what they went, we would be okay. Definitely, definitely. So this is just the freest Thunderbolt. That was huge value. They do have U-turn. And so they get in this dreaded Victini. 
I have identified that Tapu Fini is my answer, and as long as they don't have electric terrain, we can handle the Bolt Strike. Um, well, actually, that's not entirely true. They have a basically one-fourth chance to two-hit KO after Leftover, so... But, you know, I was expecting, like, a choice item user. I didn't realize it was going to be Boots. But still, actually, I don't think that changes the calc, does it? In fact, this is the heavy-duty boots one, so... Yeah, so I figured I was under the impression, like, if they hit me with an electric move, they're stuck in it, and I can just go Landers. So they V-Create, which obviously does not do a ton to us, which is what Tapu Fini's meant to deal with. So then we get a free Scald, right? I think that's the best play here. Draining Kiss doesn't really do that... Whoop, doesn't really do all that much. And, uh... Skull, like I wanted damage into everything. And Scald was absolutely good into everything. It was super good into this. I really wanted this tank on. So I think Scald makes the most sense. They swap into their Coco, which is just free damage. And we actually get a burn, which is actually really big for us because that put a timer on Coco. It made it so that every time it came in, it was taking that chip. So it was that was really valuable for us because now and then U-turn is less of a problem for Blissey. And yeah, that burn, I think, was actually pretty helpful. So now Blissey comes in, like, soup always. And, you know, 8% versus 16 does make a difference. Landris is absolutely the play here, because that's what it's here for. And Stealth Rocks just gives me a lot of value. Uh, because it puts another timer. I can go Magna Zone for free, and they're kind of forced... Or they feel forced, and now we can start chipping away at that super threat of Regieleki. And we have a full HP Landorus ready to deal with it. So they go for Volt Switch. At this point, I think U turn was what made the most sense because it's good into. We bounce out from Aleki, do a lot to Victini. We can get Magnazone in on Corviknight, we can get Magnazone in on Rotom. However,. We do learn that this is Rocky Helmet plus Rough Skin Garchomp. So, you got to be careful with that because Landorus is here specifically for Regieleki. So, I was like, okay, now we know. We have the value. We have the information. But we don't want to do U-Turn anymore. So, Tapu Fini is also my Garchomp answer, which is... Uh, no, it's not. Dragapult is. Yeah. In this case, Dragapult becomes the answer... Dragapult becomes the answer for sure because now that I know what set it is, I know it's not going to one-shot me. Um, and so we can just come in and get a free Draco off, which is just, you know, it's good value. Um, I learned, I don't know why, I thought Fairy was immune to Dragon for some reason. I like, wait, it is. Because doesn't Tapu Fini come in and prevent Garchomp? I, th I thought Tapu Fini could prevent Scale Shot because it was immune. How did I hit... What? I am... Wait, 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 wait. This is ridiculous. I, but I'm lost right now. Pokemon... Type chart. Because I thought Tapu Fini prevented Scale Shot. Yeah! Look, what? Look, look, look. Attacking. Dragon into fairy. Zero. I don't think Infiltrator goes through immunities. Does it? Does Infiltrator let dragon moves hit fairy moves? Right. How did I hit it with Draco? What in the world? We're about to learn something right now. Wait, that's not what I meant. I meant... We're about to learn something right now. Time out, time out, time out. 
What just happened? It's not Zerora. What? They go Klefki. What? I'm not crazy, am I, guys? Like, that doesn't make sense. Dragapult. Draco hits fairy types. Is this like a... Because I know I've Dracoed into like Feenies and stuff. Like, why? Oops. How did I do damage here? I think there might be a bug, guys. I think there might be a bug. What? We're about to learn something wild. Passes through. Oh, you know? What is it? <laughs> oh my goodness, yes! Oh my goodness, no! No, you're right. It is the ring. We knew it was ring target. I'm literally thinking, like, is there an item that allows that to go away? And I'm not coming up with anything. Because I'm so used to ring target only being to let electric moves hit ground types. Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. That is so funny. What? <laughs> no, that is great. Okay, this is definitely going on the YouTube. This is definitely going on the YouTube. I didn't record it, but I'll just take it from the stream, and it'll just be called My Dragapult Breaks the Rules, and it'll just show me damaging this Glefki. That is so great. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's funny. Thank you for helping me figure this out. Thank you, bro. Big shout-outs to bro. You guys are now seeing this on YouTube. Big shout-outs to my man. For realize, I'm like literally going, oh, it's ring target, it's ring target, and it doesn't occur to me, wait, that means it can get hit too. Oh, that's so funny. Not that it like really made a difference, but it's just hilarious that I Draco to fairy type. I used his cheese against him. Oh my goodness, that is funny. Okay, thank you. I feel so much better. I was like, what is happening? Free Magnazone because Klefki can't escape. And anything else they swap to uh, is taking free rocks or burn. So it was just easy to go uh, Magnazone because I had ants. Actually, eh, Victini would have been a problem. Just then Tapu Fini would have really struggled. But, it's no, it still made sense. I mean, it, this is, Magnazone is here to deal with this cleft key. And this prevents him from, and then my lander is just freed up because I don't have to worry as much about, uh, Reggie Alecki becomes not an issue anymore. Actually, I didn't even think about it. Landorus became a fine answer for this Victini after after uh, we got rid of the, the what's it called, Klefki. Because then, now I know that the only way Reggie Alecki is dealing with my Landorus is through Explosion. So actually, I, I didn't even realize it, but I had just freed up my Landorus to deal with Victini. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. I think, so here I could have boosted up, and if I recall right, like he goes into Garchomp, and I body pressing it like 20, so if I had maxed it out, I would have done four times as much. I guess I would have killed his Garchomp, but I don't know that that really would have bought me anything, and if I had that extra spike, I think that might have mattered. Actually, I think it does matter later, so I think I needed to just take it out at this point. Yeah, I think Thunderbolt's the right play. So, yeah, just take out this thing. So, actually, at this point, Landorus was freed up to help deal with Victini. I could now share Landorus and Tapafini because Landorus literally needed a single HP. 
Uh, I mean, I guess he does set up rocks, but Landers essentially needed a single HP to deal with that Aleki. I, I would have needed like 30%. Free body press, you know, 22%. Magnazone is really only here remaining for that Corviknight. Tapufini comes in, takes a lot from Spikes. Uh, we take that, and Draining Kiss is always the play here because we want to stay healthy. He actually rocks, which is pretty big for him. <clears throat> so I didn't realize this. Against that Garchomp, just Draining Kiss is kind of neutral. I do damage, but I don't really gain HP because of Rocky Helmet plus uh, Rough Skin. So in that sense, Scald might be quote-unquote better, but I didn't expect him to stay in. And in all cases, Draining Kiss was good. And I needed Tapu Fini to stay as healthy as possible because it was still here for Victini. So they, I also think it's hilarious that they clicked Rest in Misty Train because I would 100% do that and be like, oh, dang it. So that's kind of a, a choke on their part. So we take out that. Coco comes back in. It's free Blissey. Dazzling Gleam does zip. And then Seismic Toss is absolutely free because it's good in all cases. We get good chip down on you because now it's only got four more swaps. And that's assuming I don't even hit it in the meantime. Um, they, heart, they do double there, which was clever of them. Now what I didn't realize... No, I think because I didn't want, I didn't want to, Bayless, yes. I didn't want an Earthquake get dropped to, well, now that I know it has Glaciate, which first of all, what does that move, like, I didn't even know that was a move. What is Glaciate? What is this move? 65... Is it like a guaranteed slow? What What is this move? Lowers the target speed by one stage. Ah. Interesting. You don't see Glaciate. Oh. It learned it by event. That's why I haven't seen Glaciate. Because it's like the least common move. Now obviously in Showdown they can learn it. You know. But like in the games and stuff. Okay. So I just, now I know, Victini, I feel like it ne almost never runs that. Now, it would have worked out great for them, but I went, I think I went Dragapult here. Yeah, because I happen to know that Dragapult can live one, and at this point, he was low enough that I could just start Shadowballing his whole team. So the Glaciate was actually pretty big for him. You know, because of the speed drop. So then I had to go Feeny. But it worked out. Oh, yeah. So here is where I was saying, like, oh, I know one more spike wouldn't have killed. And actually, yeah, maybe I should have. Oh, I should have. I guess I should have. Uh, I was afraid of taking too much chip. But actually, if I had fully boosted that Magnazone and one shot Guard Chomp while it earthquaked. They wouldn't have gotten rocks, and that actually would have helped out a lot. And anything else they went, like I would have one-shot Corviknight. I would have done a massive amount to any of these guys. Uh, I should have boosted all the way, I guess. I guess uh, boosting all the way didn't, wouldn't have hurt, and it gave me something to do in a guard chomp that does more damage. Okay, good to know. Actually, if I'm boosted all the way, Earthquake might not. Mm, it'll break sub. It'll break sub. That's not true. So, good to know. But I was, I was just afraid of having to take too much. I didn't know that the game was almost over. I hadn't yet identified that Dragapult kind of swept at this point. Because Landris comes in on this guy every time he comes in. And and then I could just U-turn freely. And just keep getting Dragapult in. Uh, nope, Dragapult was very low. <laughs> it was hard to know that spikes weren't going to matter. And it's possible that they might have mattered. So I don't know if... Uh, I think I might have made the right call just taking it out and preventing a massive amount of spikes getting set up. So here, I think... What did I do? Draining Kiss? But yeah, he took me out. But Dragapult can come in here. Oh, the spikes did matter because of one more spike and Dragapult wouldn't have come in. And then Victini would have been a huge threat. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dragon Pole was very important. Or, so in the case of, yeah, just stop hazards. Magnezone, don't bother necessarily setting up a sub because we really didn't gain a ton off of that. Just get rid of that Rotom before it gets too much, too many hazards up. So at this point, Shadow Ball's free. You know, takes out Corviknight. And he has nothing. He can go a Leki. Yep. And he might as well have taken me out. Because then, I, but, oh, I see. No, because Landorus Earthquake does too much. So if he takes me out. Ah, uh, actually, he kind of choked. Uh, I still had it, but here's what he could have done. He could have, like, Thunderbolted. Oh, but he specs. So, no, he couldn't. No, he couldn't. Yeah, it didn't matter what he did. Because let's say he does kill me. I just go Landorus and kill this. And then Landorus just clicks Earthquake on, like, everything that remains. And if you go this guy, I kill you. And now you have Victini, but if... No, no, he could have... He should have attacked. I go Landorus. You let me take a Leki. Then you go Coco. Get Chip on Landorus so that he can't take this. Go this guy. Take me out with V Create, which I guess slows you down. But then I don't think it slows you down below Mel Metal. And then you could have V Created Mel Metal. Uh, I guess I go Magnezone and threaten, force you to slow again. Then Mel Metal comes in and I outspeed. Okay, never mind. But he could have had him. He could have forced me to play a lot more carefully, and I didn't have a ton of time, so he might have had a shot. But he chose to explode on the expected Landers, which, in fairness, would have been very, very, very valuable for him. But it didn't make a ton of sense to swap Dragapult because Dragapult was dead at this point. And now I outspeed his whole team, and Shadow Ball just kills. Excellent.